Hello world, it's Siraj, and I bet $1,000 on the Seattle Kraken. That's an ice hockey team, a part of the NHL, because my sports betting bot I call Odds GPT, powered by Odds Jam, told me to. And before we get into it, I wanted to quickly tell you about Odds Jam. Odds Jam is the best sports betting software available. I love data, you love data, and Odds Jam loves data. With over 190 sports books and real-time data feeds, Odds Jam is able to identify inefficiencies in the market that you, the user, can exploit. Odds Jam makes you a profitable sports better by using the same techniques that investors and traders use to beat the stock market. The Odds Jam arbitrage tool allows you to make risk-free money by identifying opportunities where you can bet on both sides of the market and make a profit no matter what. They also have their positive expected value tool, which identifies bets where one sports book has made mis a mistake when setting their price compared to the rest of the market. OzGem makes it easy to pay for your next dinner or vacation with your betting profits, and they offer both a seven-day free trial and a 90-day money-back guarantee because they know their product works. If you want to give them a try, use code Siraj20 to get 20% off your subscription using the link below. What are the most profitable plus EV, that stands for positive expected value, sports bets to make today for the NHL. And it will, basically what it's doing is it's using a headless browser script. Don't worry if you don't understand this, we're gonna go through all of this. It's using a headless browser script in JavaScript to pull data from Odds Jam about which are the sports bets that they are making using all their internal tools. And then it's gonna pull the top five EV bets, as you can see, as an ordered list and explain it very simply, just like that. Now, once we have that, we can say, okay, great. How do people feel about the Seattle Kraken versus the Dallas Stars matchup today? And what it's gonna do, and this is one of my favorite parts of this, is it is gonna pull this data from Twitter. Now, you may or may not know that Elon made Twitter $100 a month to pull tweets from for hobbyists. And we just do not wanna pay $100 a month. So we are gonna use a scraping tool to pull that data from Twitter. And uh, no apologies, Elon. And that's what we we're seeing here. It's gonna pull that data from Twitter and it's gonna tell us that today, this is the percentage likelihood that people feel that the Kraken are going to win. And the last prompt I'm gonna give it for this demo before we get started building is, how likely is it that we'll pick a player from the Seattle Kraken. Ryan Donato is going to get an injury this season. And what it's doing here is it's pulling a custom historical data set of all of Ryan Donato's uh, features for each game, like his number of injuries, number of wins, number of you know scores, all that stuff. And it's going to, in real time, with what's called in-context learning, make a prediction using that data. In this tutorial, we're gonna start with a very simple bot, version one, that's a Twitter sentiment bot. It's just gonna pull data from Twitter, that's it. In the second version, we're gonna add to it the ability to crawl the web for positive expected value bets with Odds Jam, so plus EV web crawler. And in the third and last version, we're gonna add the ability to pull all this real-time historical sports data from the web and then make custom predictions using that data, like I ask, is this player injured or how likely is this gonna happen? And it's gonna use historical data to do that. And this is gonna happen for any sport, not just NHL. That's just what I picked for this, but it's gonna be working for any sport. The first dependency is Node.js. That's gonna let us build web applications. The second one is MongoDB. That's to store data. The third one is OpenAI for a natural language interface to talk to our sports betting bot. Then we have SNS Scrape. That's gonna let us scrape data from Twitter in Python for free. Then we have Odds Jam. This is a sports betting platform that has all sorts of tools for making sports bets and we can pull data from that using Puppeteer. Puppeteer is a JavaScript that's able to browse the web without having a graphical user interface. So it can just go to websites, click on things, click on buttons, fill in form data automatically, which is exactly what we want. And the last dependency that we're gonna have is StatsHead. And StatsHead is a database of all this historical sports data. Of course, we're gonna use ChatGPT and Bing to make these predictions. Those are the, the last two. So first we're gonna prompt ChatGPT and we're gonna to say to ChatGPT, you are a professional programmer with decades of experience writing code in every known programming language. What is this called? This is called role prompting. And role prompting can give us better results than just straight up asking it the question. 
write me a short Python script that pulls the latest 100 tweets from Twitter. How should this be done? Show me step by step. Remember that phrase always helps with the outputs of these GPT models. It's gonna give us all that Python script data. It's gonna say pip install SNS scrape. And so what we can do is we can open up a collab and I've got this collab that's pre-filled for us right here. I'm sharing it in the video description. And what this collab is gonna do is it's gonna do exactly what uh, ChatGPT told us to do. It's going to uh, make a query. I guess it chose Elon Musk for this query, pretty hilarious. And it's gonna import the modules. It's gonna pull the tweets, convert it to a pandas data frame. That's an Excel spreadsheet that we can you know, export a CSV file. Look at all these real-time tweets about the Seattle Kraken. Uh, let's go Kraken. A lot of these are positive, right? And we can use sentiment analysis with the Vader sentiment library to analyze these. So I just wanted to show you, first of all, a free way to pull data from Twitter for free. And it's only a few lines of Python code, okay? So once we have that, the next thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to find our own ChatGPT clone repository that we can insert this Twitter sentiment analysis code into. So we can converse with it in natural language and it could do this Python code for us. We don't just have to manually do it in a collab every time. So to do this, we're gonna use Bing. And why Bing instead of ChatGPT? Well, because Bing is connected to the internet. So we'll ask Bing, show me a chatbot UI repository because we want a graphical user interface from GitHub for interacting with ChatGPT. We're gonna pick this one called ChatGPT Clone by Danny Avila. So this one's great because it's got ChatGPT and Bing uh, both. So it's got access to both of them and we can run this locally on our machine. We can put it on our own server. We can store it in our own database. It's just for us, right? This is just gonna be a thing for us and we're gonna customize it to be not just a general purpose GPT, but specifically a sports betting bot. So let's go into this. There's a client folder. There's a public API folder. So both of them work together. It's got a little bit of JSX, a little bit of HTML here and there and CSS. Okay, so let's set this thing up. So to set this up, we're gonna go into the readme. We're going to go into the getting started section. We're gonna go to, I'm on a Mac. So I'm gonna go to Mac install and it's gonna tell us what requirements we're gonna need. We need to get our OpenAI API key, then we're gonna find it right here on platform.openai.com. We're gonna need our Bing token and our Bing access token. In order to do that, we need to go to chat.bing.com to pull up Bing. Then we'll go to tools, developer, developer tools. And then we're gonna go to under storage, under application, and then storage, we'll see cookies and then bing.com. And under that, we'll see this underscore U name, and that's gonna give us our Bing token. And we're gonna need that to add to our .env file. And then we need to go to mongodb.com, and this is gonna connect us to our own database. So we'll sign into MongoDB. If you haven't signed in, create your own account, and we'll sign in with Google or you know whatever your preferred login method is. Once we sign in, it's gonna ask us to create a database. And we can do that by going to create and we'll click on, you know, whatever your closest database is, we will click on create cluster. And then we're gonna take this connection string and we're gonna copy it to our .env file so it connects. That's really all we have to do. And once we've done that, we can just run it by running npm run. And it'll open up for us just like that. We can click on Bing, we can run ChatGPT queries, whatever we want, we can just run just like that from our local host and upload it to our own server. It's running on our own database, everything's stored and we, it's not gonna forget any of the bets that we ask it. Now that we have our own custom version of a ChatGPT clone running locally, we can start integrating information from the web. We can start integrating our Twitter sentiment analysis code into it. We can start integrating live positive expected value bets from the web, from this website, Odds Jam, okay? So, OzGem is great. Uh, there's a great way to get all these positive expected value bets. If there's a single team that we wanna know about, let's say click on NHL, um, and then we'll just pick one of these articles that they've got. You can see that they have made bets about that team. So they've got data on here. And what we wanna do is we wanna pull this data into our 
uh, GPT and it's just going to tell us what those bets are based on what OddsGem says. So how do we do that? Puppeteer is one of the best JavaScript libraries to do that. You can just say, you know, log into this website and then type into a search box, set the screen size, click on the first result, all that stuff. So we, ha we can just build our own headless browser script and I did that right here in Puppeteer and I can show you exactly how it works. So let's start off by opening up a browser and then going to a new page and that page is going to be ozjam.com slash NBA slash articles. Now we can replace NBA with any sport. We can say NHL, we can say um, you know MLB, we can say football, we can say any sport, right? And once we do that, it's going to give us a list of articles. And all those articles are going to be URLs for every single article, right? It's going to run regex on all those articles, and then it's going to return um, the top article, the latest article, and then it's going to give us that URL. And we'll ask our Bing version TLDR this. And what Bing is going to do is it's going to crawl this article and it's going to tell us exactly what the optimal sports bet is going to be. And so now we can move to custom model training. How can we use historical sports data to make bets? That's a really interesting idea. And I found this website called StatsHead and it's got real-time updated data, and you've got all these features for this data, da 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 You can just export this data as a CSV file, and boom, it's right there. Here's this uh, MLB stat head scraping notebook that I found um, by GZ Wabowski on GitHub, where using Selenium, another headless browser script, it's gonna browse the web, it's gonna log into StatHead with its username and password, and then it's gonna get that data for the MLB. But we can switch this from baseball to NHL or any other sport for batting data, and once we get that real-time data from StatHead, we can export it as a CSV and then feed that to our model as a by prepending the prompt, where we say, given this data, um, find the, make a prediction. And it's not gonna build a neural network in real time, it's just gonna use in-context learning to build that prediction. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section. I will be responsive. The code for everything is gonna be in the video description. And let's come back in 24 hours and see if I won the bet. Looks like I won the bet. Thanks Odds GPT and thanks Odds Jam. Subscribe if you like the video, hit the like button. And for now, I've gotta make some really interesting auto GPTs. So thanks for watching.